one of the challenging things about having Zoom meetings and running your businesses virtually is what type of culture are you creating to make it exciting and engaging and keep things moving? Hey, it's a trigger, Rich Bond Trigger, here with another leaders and communicators to help you virtually rock the stage better and better. We want to achieve success as leaders and we want to help our people do the best they can. But we have to come up with a new way of doing business virtually. There's this camera, there's this glass between us, there's miles of separation. You may be working with a global organization more than ever, everyone is coming together, but they're not really together. Let me ask you, have you thought about the culture you're creating on the virtual stage? Yes, we have a culture in our business. We know what the expectations are. We, we know how things should flow. We know when meetings are gonna be. We know how Ted's gonna behave and how Sue's gonna behave. But now virtually there's a whole new problem arising of creating a culture to move the line forward and respect each other, honor each other, give good quality time, and show up promptly and well. I'm gonna give you a couple pointers, a couple ideas to maybe help you get working on framing up your culture on the virtual stage. Now, one of them is when you start that meeting off, you may wanna have everyone microphones off except for yours. If you're the host, you should be the one to welcome people in and kick that thing off. Often, there's so much distraction. Those microphones are on, you can hear everything running through the house, the dog barking, the kid crying, the guy knocking on the door, establish a new culture of respect that comes out of when we begin, I want to have everyone under control. So let's start with microphones muted. And maybe you keep it that way until it's time for Steve or Sue or Joanna to share and you unmute their microphone, you bring them on so they have the center platform. And also the profile picture will switch to them and not bounce around between everybody else that may have background sound. You want it to be focused and clear and respecting of everyone's time. So controlling microphone might be a big thing there. How about this one? Let's have everyone turn their camera on, please. Create a culture of community and relationship. One of the biggest things people are missing right now is physical contact and relationship. You may not be able to touch your partner at work. You may not be able to connect with your cubicle worker anymore the way you once did, but everyone should turn on their camera to have full engagement. When, when those cameras are off, you don't know if they're doing 10 other things. You don't know if they're even really paying attention. They're just logged on and checked on. Schools are having the same problem right now. And as leaders of organizations, we should be calling things out and taking them to a higher level of expectation. Please, everyone turn on the camera, everyone be ready to go. Now that will include then the expectation and the guideline of let's be dressed for the job today. Right now we're seeing people at home doing Zoom meetings, executives with their laundry right there on the table. We're seeing wardrobes and clothing. We're seeing dogs flying on the screen. You need to make sure you use your time to the best of the ability, so no distractions. You should have that culture of let's bring our best, dress for success, even virtually. Make sure you're prepared and have everything ready to go and no distraction. Part of this culture should be shorter is better than longer. Well, let's get on the call. Let's respect our time and let's knock this thing out and give all that we can so we can get on to the project at hand. Create the culture of excitement. This is not a boring thing. This is not a mundane thing. These calls are important, they're vibrant, and we're going to make them exciting. Speaking about excitement, remember those days when you had special days at work, the casual Friday days, the Hawaiian days? Let's build the culture of creativity and fun into our virtual environments. Why not do a theme day? Everyone come dressed as their favorite superhero. I know it sounds geeky and weird, but their group will respond to the fact that work is fun even virtually. And some of those things we used to do that we miss for the human engagement, 
we can now do here on the virtual stage. What type of culture are you creating? It's up to you, the top leader, to create the culture. Nobody else can do this for you. This is one of those areas that you want to spend time and carve out and roll out to your people and give a good understanding of here is how we now present ourselves in the virtual office, on the virtual stage. Believe me, your people will appreciate it because they're not sure how to best behave either. They're all trying to figure this out. As a leader, you set the tone, the voice, the vibe, the energy for your culture. Think about it today. What culture are you creating or what culture have you allowed to be created because you have not let out and really stated, here's what we do and how we do it and why we do it. Culture, it's important. If you have any questions, if you have any thoughts, I'd love to hear your ideas on how to create a culture online for you to succeed and rock the stage. Until next time on the Trigger, Rich Bond Trigger, God bless and have a great day rocking the stage.